Alright, chapter 7 we learn about satellite motion. Okay, we learn about gravitation. So this is uh, the concept come from chapter 6 as well. Okay, so we know the idea when we have let's say planet Earth. This is the theory of Newtons, Isaac Newtons and an apple. A for apple, B for ball. Okay, so what do we learn? We know that Newton's study under an apple tree that the apple tree falls on him then he come up with the idea why the apple tree falls. Kan? Ha, kalau dia study bawah pokok durian dah selalu besar masalah kan? Ha, so durian jatuh ke kepala dia so tak payah study. Alright? So the problem is apple. So that's not the true story lah actually. Okay, so what happened? This is the earth. This is the apple. So when two masses okay, we have interaction between them which produce attractive force okay so this is mass of the apple mass of the earth so attractive force is directly proportional to the interaction of two masses let's say m1 and m2 and inversely proportional to the distance square between them okay so we come up with this equation fg equal to g universal gravitational constant M1 M2 over R square so siapa kuat dia menang lah bumi tarik apple apple tarik bumi takkan bumi pergi ke apple kan ok so that's why the apple falls ok so the same goes here when we have between earth and moon so let's say this is the R so this is the moon so we have interaction between them. Okay, that's why the moon stick there. Okay, the moon stick there. So bulan ni dia hanya mampu tarik air laut saja. That's why dia cakap air pasang is because of the moon is nearer. Okay, so you can tarik the air sajalah. Okay, that's why we kita manusia atas ni Okay, bumi tarik kita rapat. So that's why we can stay here, stand here. Okay, but because this is mass of the earth this is our mass so confirm kita kalah lah kita melekat kat bumi ok but where you go to the moon why you can float kenapa kita boleh terapung sikit sebab mass of the moon dah kurang kan kurang compared to the earth sebab tu kita boleh escape sikit ok so that's the reason ok so now in this case you just need to know this equation so this one tak kisah mana-mana pula cuma satu kita panggil Test mass Test mass ni Siapa yang Dikerjakan Point mass Yang mengerjakan Bumi tarik Bulan So siapa lagi kuat Siapa tarik siapa Ok The problem here is the R So R Is R plus H Ok Let's say We are talking about the earth So this is Radius of the earth This is Altitude what is altitude? Altitude means the measurement, the height from the ground or sea level. This is the earth. This is radius of the earth. So you have a spaceship or satellite somewhere here. So this is the H. So R plus H is the little r. So when you not substitute inside here, so you must be R plus H Baru square Ok that one typical mistake Selalu berlaku Ok so selalu berlaku So everything just about that Itu sahaja Alright for this part Gravitational force Ok then we have Gravitational field strength Gravitational field strength In other words This is the AG or G So this is acceleration due to gravity 9.81 Ok itulah So We have A Equal to F over M Gravitational force That acted on the test mass Ok F Equal to just now G M M over R square So over M 
so a equal to g m over r square so what is this m this m m yang tarik yang buat kerja test mass ok we learn in chapter 2 if you still remember free fall ok awak tak Sir Firdan kat sini bukan nama sebenar awak tak Sir Yusfi kat sini suspect ok so by ignoring air resistance you push them together ok so what happened who reach the ground first by ignoring air resistance ok both reach the ground at the same rate why this is the proof you can see here this is mass of surface done divide by his mass so means you depends on the mass of earth only right even this is my mass 70 divided by 70 so both of us attracted by the same earth bumi yang sama tarik awak tak dinosaur dengan saya pun jatuh sama ok sebab bumi yang sama tarik ok that's why that's the proof ok but we have to consider this one we ignore air resistance lah Kalau kau sedia air resisten Saya Firda akan jatuh berdebuk okay, Saya mungkin jatuh okay. So that's the concept So this R still the same R R plus H tadi juga Mesti from the center of the circle Okay, Mesti from the center of the circle So this one is about mass of earth and people Kalau dengan bumi, dengan bulan pun sama lah Siapa tarik siapa, you potong lah bulan dengan bulan Okay Okay, then we have uh, Gravitational potential Okay, what is gravitational potential? So, gravitational potential Okay, work done Okay, to bring a test mass from infinity to one point per that test mass. Okay, means you nak bawa suatu mass sangat-sangat jauh from infinity from one point you don't know to one point that you know. Divide by that mass itself. Bawa daripada infinity pergi langkawi. Bahagi dengan mass dia balik. Okay, so we know work is F dot R over M F is this F G M M over R square dot R over M so V equal to G M over R ok in some books they put it negative over here ok because work done from very far to bring it you bring it you buat kerja and then this is gravity setengah buku pun over here ada negative because gravity always downwards that's why we do have negative but it's just direction ok so again why you have to know this tak wajib tahu tapi you can see this equation and this equation what is the difference you have square you don't have square ok kena spike sikit jatuh tangga dah lupa the square ke tak ada square kan so that's why you know how to get it so you won't have that problem ok kalau you hafal naik tangga terus tangga silap masuk kelai kau lupa <laughs> ada square ke ha. ke ada ledger kan ha, dah lupa lah kan ok so you have to know that ok so this is gravitational potential then we have gravitational potential difference so when we have the word difference over here means you have to know both point baru kita kata difference tadi from infinity to one point so difference means from one point to another point per that test mass dari langkawi pergi banting tadi dari infinity pergi langkawi ok so the equation sama jugalah so let's say from A to B so work done from B to A Ataupun VB minus BA lah Sebab different, dua-dua kena tahu Okey, tadi satu je tahu dah cukup Infinity 
Okay, so again, this one you can substitute the equation inside here. Do it one by one. Okay, so no big deals. Okay, then we have graph of this. We have graph of this. So how the graph? Very simple. So if A against R, Okay, so this one should be 9.81. So, how you interpret the graph? So, let's say you imagine we have planet Earth over here. So, this is radius of the Earth. So, when you are inside here, awak dalam kubur, awak korek keluar. So, when you move nearer to the surface of the Earth, so you feel more gravity acceleration. So, means directly proportional lah, this part. Okay, when we are here at the surface Sekarang kita atas bumi permukaan betul-betul So, berapa graviti yang kita rasa? 9.81 lah Macam mana dapat 9.81 sebenarnya? Okay Kalau you ganti this is radius of the earth Mass of the earth So, you get 9.81 Okay, then bila you meninggalkan dunia Going to the space So, you are further apart Lagi susah nak tarik So, over here Inversely proportional Okay, semakin jauh daripada pusat bumi Lagi susah dia nak tarik Okay Okay, then the other graph of V The graph of V is like that Okay, ini jauh sikit Tak ada ni Okay, so kenapa graph dia negative Because the equation just now negative GM Okay, so that's the graph So, kita baca like that lah When you are moved Further R lagi jauh So potential nak bawa tarik you lagi susah That's why it's nearly zero Okay You semakin jauh So it's quite hard to bring you Bring the mass To that point Okay because you are very very far Okay so Dekat sini betul-betul dekat R When you are Over here is R Radius of the earth Okay ganti radius of the earth Okay so that part is very simple Ni question 